Hi, this is Nomad Dimitri from high up on the Alps. Uh, today is a thrilling day for all of us living up here on an altitude up in the Alps. We have had a very, very soft autumn, a very, very mild November. It's almost the end of November and we really haven't had freezing weather. But that's just about to change starting tomorrow and all of a sudden um, the climate will form an inversion, will, the temperatures will drop very high, there will be lots of snow even at the level where I am and plant life and the garden is going to change radically. Uh, where you, you can see behind me on the on the mountains, um, it's still there is still golden leaves. There's still green patches up on the mountains, and only very high up, right over here, you can see there is snow uh, over 2,500 meters, about 8,000 feet. Uh, but this is all going to change. That snow up there is going to come all the way down to where I'm standing and there'll be extreme changes in all the plant and of course animal life where I am all the way down. Uh, more specifically what I wanted to show you is what happens to the garden uh, before and after. So we're going to go around and look at before um, and we're going to take advantage of this particular moment, this particular moment on the calendar, or the yearly calendar, just before winter weather really hits. Uh, we're going to take advantage, we're going to take a look at what really works um, at this time of the year in a high altitude. Um, our aim is always, and here's the garden, okay, uh, our aim is always to have a garden that looks good all year round. That means, um, well that's also called the four season garden, that somehow during the whole year uh, there is something of interest, there's something of interest to look at. Uh, both in terms of color and in terms of texture in our garden. Um, so at this point, at this specific point right now, in late autumn, um, you get to see what has worked and what really delivers the goodies in at this particular moment of the year. So we're going to take a quick look of what goes on, what looks good and what is kind of like, nah, not really, not really doing anything. Um, so right behind me, we're seeing that Quite amazingly, um, hollyhocks, uh, you can see the hollyhock flowers, uh, are still in bloom and they still look pretty good. Um, I'll take one down right over here and you can see the hollyhock is still nice and pink, even though it's almost the end of November. Um, of course, the, um, the, the charm, uh, it always looks good and looks good throughout the winter because it retains, even though it's a deciduous tree, it retains its coppery leaves and they're beautiful and this is also some of the copper that you can see on the mountain behind me is due to the charm. Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna keep going and we're gonna look in, we're gonna see here um, these beautiful blue flowers right over here, uh, borash uh, that looks great, and you know it's it's been cold. You can see there is there is um, uh, frost on the ground, but the borage still looks good and still has beautiful blue flowers. Um, another winner in the garden uh, at this late time of the year is valerian. Valerian is right here, and it's another pink, and uh, it's a nice pink and the leaves are green and it's a nice bush um, and it gives you nice needed color in the garden all the way to this particular time of the year. Uh, most of the leaves that are, most of the leaves of the trees that have turned yellow or golden have fallen off with some exceptions. This tiny little ginkgo tree still retains its beautiful um, yellow leaves. Um, and not so surprisingly to those of you that are gardeners, the rose bushes are still giving roses that late of the year. You can see here some of the rose bushes. I'm going to go closer and you're going to see that they are not looking that bad given how late in the year it is. And they're quite plentiful. This rose bush is called Edith Piaf. It's a French one. Um, what else looks good? We have covered in another video the larches, which are splendid this time of the year. Fantastic, with a golden carpet they're creating all around them. Um, what else looks good? Ah, yeah, and then there are the things that are going to keep looking good no matter what, because a lot of the, the ones that I have just shown you are going to go... Uh, are going to look like nothing. 
starting tomorrow because they're going to lose everything. Um, so we're going to look, I'm going to show you, ah, I'm going to show you a few more things. Uh, I changed my mind. The, the, this, this nice little thing, this, it's, it's this is the size and it's kind of yellowish and feather, feather and you can see it. You won't believe what this is. That's asparagus. It has flowered. It has made its little seeds and now it's kind of dying. Uh, these are the little seeds that I was telling you about. Okay, here we go. These are the little seeds of the asparagus and uh, and they're gone now and it's finished and it's gonna, but it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back next spring and it's gonna give wonderful asparagus, which I'm gonna make lots of things with. Um, we're going on, I'm going to show you, and always the winner, a very easy, easy bush to grow, that's always a winner, and this one is going to stay beautiful all winter long, is the cotton aster, cotton aster. Um, you see the berries? It's full of berries. The cotton aster really delivers the goodies. You want to put it somewhere where you can see it from a winter window, and you're going to have a great time checking out all the birds, all the birds freezing in the winter and coming and feasting on these little berries. They're not touching them yet because there's more, there's things they like more to eat at this particular moment of the year. So they have and the birds haven't attacked them yet, but they will, they will, because soon there will be no worms because all this grassy area where the birds are feasting is going to be covered with snow. Um, some other nice things that what else looks good uh these guys look good all kinds of bushes that still have a lot of color um selected for color they're still nice um the the wig tree the arbre perruque or otherwise known as the european smoke tree has spectacular leaves this time of the year here they are they're kind of red and purple and yellow and green and they're beautiful it's a classic uh we're gonna go down towards the vegetable patch um and i'm gonna show you one of my favorites it's one of my favorite ground covers uh of course um the boulot um the poplars are gonna look good all all year round because they have these spectacular whitish um trunks and you know them you know them well here they are and that's gonna look great during the snow or winter. Um, so finally, in terms of um, ground cover, what always looks good is, of course, the strawberry patch. Um, it's gonna look pretty shitty starting tomorrow, but it still looks great. And look at it, look at the colors. It is, there is yellow, there is red, um, and green still. And as fragile as we tend to think strawberry is, the strawberry bush is pretty incredibly hardy uh, and you can see here I have a large strawberry patch it gives about 20 kilos of strawberries every year um, anything else oh I have some other rare goodies but I think we're running out of time and I should say goodbye and we're going to see each other again in a few days when all of this has kind of changed radically there is probably snow or ice on the ground and most of the leaves have gone. And then we're going to see who the real winners are, the things that are going to stay with us and keep us company visually throughout the cold winter and the snow. Nova Dimitri from High Up in the Alps. Take care. Bye-bye. Happy gardening.